His mission of love was all the time fraught with fear. But he did not give in to fear. In spite of the ridicule and harsh treatment, Jesus never gave in to fear. How beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. Hello and welcome to Devya Vachan, the Sunday Scripture Reflection Series. We have Reverend Father Randall Barreto bringing the good news to us. This episode is the reflection for the 12th Sunday in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. So have no fear of them, for nothing is covered up that will not be uncovered, and nothing secret that will not become known. What I say to you in the dark, tell in the light, and what you hear whispered, proclaim from the housetops. Do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. And even the hairs of your head are all counted. So do not be afraid. You are of more value than many sparrows. Everyone, therefore, who acknowledges me before others, I also will acknowledge before my Father in heaven. But whoever denies me before others, I will also deny before my Father in heaven. Jesus came into this world with a divine mission of love. His mission of love was all the time fraught with fear, but he did not give in to fear. In spite of the ridicule and harsh treatment, Jesus never gave in to fear. And that's the lesson he teaches us in today's Gospel and readings. Fear is the highly debilitating emotion which captures most of us in our day-to-day -day living, especially in pursuit of fulfilling Jesus' mission for us. So are we that kind of people who give in to fear and retract from fulfilling the beautiful mission that Jesus shares with us? And so Jesus knew very well that persecutions are going to come and we, his disciples, and moreover, the apostles would face severe persecutions. And so he seeks to groom them, to prepare them to face these persecutions. And so he tells them two catch phrases, fear not, do not fear, do not be afraid. And the second catch phrase, everything which is concealed will be revealed. No secret will be there which will not be opened, which will not be known. Let's look at the first catch phrase. Fear not, do not be afraid. We all experience fear, especially in matters of religious persecution. The passage of today is preceded by a warning by Jesus to his disciples, apostles, that you will be dragged to the courts and the judges. You will be taken before the leaders of the synagogues and the kings and tortured. You will be exposed to their ridicule. 
what will be your reaction do not fear when persecutions regarding faith are issued against us these are the most difficult ones to endure of course there are other forms of persecutions which we face in our day to day lives when people are jealous about you they engage in gossip about you that's a persecution when people slander you when people give you a cold shoulder treatment when people wash your dirty linen in public these are various forms of persecution in a nutshell if anyone does harm against you it is a type of persecution what is our reaction to these types of persecutions it's a human tendency when someone does harm to us to reply back with doing harm to them but jesus advises us yes defend yourselves by speaking the truth with love but don't let yourself be consumed by fear when harm comes your way or do not pay back with harm by attacking those who harm you this is the way jesus advises us wants us and guides us how to handle situations which are terrifying in our life certainly there are worse situations which we have seen in life more fearful than expected for these are matters to do with violence unjust violence and justice never done we have very shattering images in front of us where we have seen not only places of worship being destroyed burned down but people and worshipers themselves who have been killed slaughtered burnt our question is when will justice be done who will give justice and here is where the second catch phrase of today reveals to us that our god is up there he is a loving god he is a protective god he takes care of the lilies he takes care of the birds in the air if he takes care of these birds and these plants will he not take care of you will he not be able to protect you the old testament is full of these images of a warrior god who defends his people who fights by the side of his people who makes the armies victorious this is our powerful god and that is why we need not fear but when it comes to justice he says nothing is there which is concealed which will not be revealed nothing will be a secret which will not be known so jesus is in fact telling us i am coming on the last day i am coming to do the final judgment when people will be exposed the people who have done injustice will be brought to justice their dark works their fearful works will be exposed they have manipulated the laws they have manipulated the public all that will be brought to justice and justice will be meted out for our god is a god of truth our god is a god who stands for truth so the truth needs to be restored for eternity and all those who are the perpetrators of injustice and untruthfulness and dishonesty will be damned will be facing eternal damnation and that's how we 
the faithful followers of Jesus who want to execute his mission in this world like he did for the bounty that he gave us, shared with us. We want to do it freely without the incumbrances of fear stopping us from fulfilling that beautiful mission. So my dear brothers and sisters, let's entrust ourselves into the hands of this warrior God, into the hands of this divine judge who will do justice. Let us not be controlled by fear. Let us not be revengeful. Let us not seek revenge and harm to the other but let's be the harbingers of truth in this world. And for that, we need to throw out the fear from our lives and stop retracting in the cocoon of security, but venture out, venture out into the world of injustice and work to give justice, work for the poor, work for the downtrodden irrespective of what harm will come to us. Let us remember, we need to die like a grain to give life and fruit in God's kingdom. Let us take up the challenge and let God work wonders while he bees with us, while he fights with us. Let us not be overcome with fear, but let's love the world and its people just the way God loves. Amen. Join me next Friday at 6 p.m. to experience the goodness of God.